Hey YouTube, in my last video I showed you how to use a micro evolving transformer to make a spot welder. We didn't actually make a spot welder but we had some fun. And it turned out to be a pretty long and boring video but one of you uh, asked me what was the device I used to turn down the power of the transformer. So let me show you the device I used to turn down the power. Okay, this is the device I used. Uh, this device measures voltage current and calculates power and energy consumption of the device connected to this plug. It is powered through the wall, wall outlet and I used a PC power supply plug here and I bought a switch and mounted it on the side. I made the enclosure out of 2 mm thick steel plate and welded it together with some clamps and 90 degree magnet holders. I think it turned out pretty pretty nice. I used some body filler on some rough parts and used use the spray paint and painted it uh, silver this metallic sil silver color. Let me show you what's inside. As you can see this is just ordinary steel plate, not too thick but not too thin so you can't really bend it. You can see how I welded these corners these are pretty rough but you can't see them so that is fine. It is not painted on the inside. So you can see here how I made the hole for this uh, PC power supply connector and I screwed, screwed it on the case with some screws from this side. I mounted the switch and put some connectors to it and it is all hooked up in inside of this box. This here is the module that controls uh, the output power. It drops voltage and current uh, to reduce motor speed for example or to dim some lights and this is up to two and a half kilowatts or 2500 watts. This unit here is actually the display itself and this display has integrated voltmeter, amp meter and calculates power and energy used by the device. I used ordinary cable and plug to connect the devices to this motor speed controller. These units are uh, both on the eBay and, and I will put links in the description below so you can check that out. This is how this display looks like out of the enclosure. Uh, this one is for DC current and it is rated for 6. 5 volts to 100 volts and two up to 20 amps. So I will use this voltmeter in another project. Okay, I hooked up the power and for this demonstration I connected this washing machine motor. Uh, the rotor and stator are connected in series and I use the beginning and the end of this series to connect it to my device. Now I will turn it on and as you can hear the humming sound which means the motor doesn't get enough power to start spinning. Let's increase the power.
you can't really see how fast this is spinning because it is basically spinning too fast but uh, I hope you can hear from the sound this motor makes that uh, it is spinning faster and slower with uh, me turning this knob so uh, I just want to clarify one thing and that is that this device only regulates power so voltage and current which means if you turn down the speed of this motor it basically loses a lot of its power so uh, let me let me try and demonstrate so if I spin it slower like this I can basically stop it with my hands so let me so this motor on 26 watts doesn't have enough power I can I can easily stop it with my hands and if I let it go it will start turning it needs a little bit more power to start turning but once it gets turning turn we can lower the power back down so basically I can I can stop it with my hands now and I can help it start and it will start to rotate so this thing is good for testing these motors because you don't you don't want to plug this motor straight into the wall outlet because this spins so fast it can actually destroy itself this has no speed limit it just goes and until it this case breaks and shatters all around so this thing is good for testing these motors safely let me say safely like this so that's basically it I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be and if you want to check check out my high powered low voltage transformer in action check out my previous video I will link it in the des description the video is actually longer than it should have been and it's a little bit boring so keep that in mind and that's it if you like this video give me a like you can always suggest what to do next uh, I can make basically anything so keep that in mind and leave me a like subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you in the next video bye oh yeah and one more thing let me show you what I have planned for the next couple of videos I have this old saws this is metal cutting so it is pretty thick I will try to make a knife out of this this is also a saw blade this is for uh, from a circular cutting saw uh, this is mainly used for wood I think and I will try to make something out of it you can you can uh, comment under this video what would you like to see me do out of this and I have few more stuff planned I have a restoration video actually it is more like fix up video I have an old screw vise I want to fix uh, it is actually broken and I need to weld it so we are going to weld it paint it all that all that stuff and I also have these huge bearings here as you can see I have a few of them it is quite messy here so you can comment down below if you want to see make me do something out of them and I need to make a welding table pretty small welding table so yeah that's it guys thank you bye